Awesome. Take care. See you in a few hours. Hi, my name is Brecklin Dowpass. I'm 16 years old. Oh, uh, well, I don't really know. I got in an accident. <laughs> hey, folks. So I heard uh, good news. That chest mm -hmm. tube came out. Yeah, it's so nice. Freedom, huh? <laughs> it was so nice. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I'm Mark Shapiro. I'm one of the trauma surgeons here at St. Alphonsus. Uh, I was here the day that uh, Brecklin came in uh, as a priority one trauma and uh, I met her in the trauma bay. It goes, a lot. It goes by a lot quicker. It's not nearly as bad. We were on a, we're from northern Utah, um, a okay. little suburb just north of Ogden, Pleasant View, and we were up uh, here in Idaho at Sun Valley on a little ski vacation. So yeah, so it was getting towards the end of the day. We had a fairly large group with uh, uh, some older kids, some teenagers, Brecklin being among those. Mm -hmm. Chris and I, uh, long run, and we're a little bit older, so we take a couple more breaks as the, the legs start to burn. So the kids had gotten in front of us a little bit. Um, and when we crested a hill and came over and got to a steeper portion of the run, I looked over to my left and I saw some people to the side of the run, and I could tell something was wrong, that they needed help. We were laughing about thinking about when she was younger. But as I started um, skiing towards them, I saw Brecklin ski in the middle of the run, and uh, obviously my heart sank, and um, she had been making a carve, and her it slid, and her ski popped off, and from there, yeah, the momentum of the hill. He said she, he probably she, thought she was going like 30 miles per hour, going yeah. pretty fast. Yeah. So when she wrecked, the ice just carried her down. Um, the ice condition carried her down to that, down the embankment, and, and into, into that, that stump. stump. And I remember going down the terrain park the second time and down the little trail, but then I don't remember anything after that. Screamed out her name, Brecklin, mm -hmm. and ripped my helmet off, popped off my skis, and instantly went down to her. And when I could see her down on the bottom of the little embankment, pinned under the, uh, the tree stump. She was impaled in her left side. I just remember hearing someone talking about a log getting the log out of me and I did not know what was going on. So they had to get a, a <coughs> handsaw because they were, a chainsaw would just, they were worried it would just vibrate too much and, and cause further damage. So they got the handsaw and cut the, um, the log off so she still had the log coming out of her. Cut it at the base at, of the stump. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Hill was down there and she was uh, initially there when the patient arrived. Um, she had a hip dislocation, so we had our orthopedic team involved. And uh, we knew she had a ruptured spleen. We knew that her kidney was uh, partially devascularized. Um, and we knew that this log was abutting her aorta. Impalement injuries are always very impressive. And to have a young girl come in with an eight centimeter log impaled in her flank, uh, and she was awake, calm, collected. Um, it is always a little bit of a challenge to do the usual things such as putting people flat on a back backboard when they have a log um, extending from their their body. So she uh, underwent uh, an initial exploration and operation by Dr. Shapiro with removal of the foreign body and then um, you know kind of reduction of her hip and then just very close monitoring rehab therapies and that multidisciplinary care afterwards. But if you look at what the ski patrol did from point of injury to the transfer with, with life flight, it is just such elegance and care, uh, it's beyond measure. And that's why she came here. And then getting that log out, that was probably the most excitement for, uh, for everybody, but it, it had to be done right. And I think the credit for that actually goes to the ski team, the ski patrol. Uh, they did. They did everything right, and uh, the <laughs> they got her here. That is what makes this all worth it. Uh, we all lo work long hours. We see a lot of things that are very difficult to deal with from a professional standpoint. But when we see a young girl who is going to go on to lead a you know, a great successful life 
and we had a part in returning her to that life and to her wonderful family, that makes us very proud of what we do and it makes it all worth it. It's been hard, but I've just been trying to stay positive and push through and do what I can do to help myself get better. I asked her the million dollar question is, what are you guys going to do with the log? <laughs> Burn it. Burn it. Get it out of here.